Hi guys, welcome back to Fragments of a Simple Life. We're going to be doing it super simple. I have for you today this palette. I got this several months ago and I think I showed you guys in a previous video um, stuff that my best friend bought me for my birthday. This is the same palette. I've been using it for a while. It's kind of dirty on the plastic, but I thought that we would go through and maybe swatch some of the colors. Over here to my right, you can see like a piece of paper towel. And then I have a whole entire box of um, Walmart brand cotton swabs for the swatching. There's a lot of colors that I've used and there's a lot of colors that I haven't used. So um, I thought that we would swatch them all together. I have it upside down, sorry. So this is the Morphe palette, the 35C Everyday Chic palette. So I'm going to open it up. You'll be able to tell um, what colors I've definitely been using. But I thought we'd go through these together and swatch them anyways, even though some of them I already know what they are. There's no mirror in this palette, but as you can see, it's a little dusty crusty. I could probably... Um, get a cotton swab and maybe swab away a little bit of the distracting mess and we can start with that. Some of these colors I have not touched, but some of them I have. Some of them have uh, more fallout than others it looks like. Um, so we're just going to wipe around a little bit and pick some of it up. That will not come off. There we go. This one has a lot of fallout and I've dug into it and used it as you can clearly see. Okay, that's a little bit cleaner, a little less distracting. I'm just gonna throw that cotton swab on the ground. Look, I have a glitter on my hands already. That's totally fine. Um, as I go through, I will read what they what the colors are. I'm going to kind of slide it off and slide my paper towel right here. And I'm just going to swatch like that. And then maybe I'll um, flip the paper towel over. So let me get, I'm going to pull out like a handful of cotton swabs. I'm probably going to be wasting some Q-tips today, but... You're not supposed to put them in your ears, technically. Isn't that crazy? It's true. Don't use Q-tips every day, supposedly. Okay, we're gonna start with this color and this these two colors right here. They're gonna be harder to see. They're called um, Cheers to You is right here. And Chic It Out is the next one. So Cheers to You has a very pretty, um, Kind of satiny metallic finish it feels almost slippery i have not used this color yet it crumbles pretty easily we're gonna grab the paper towel here and we're just gonna swatch it and then i'll hold it up close for these colors here um hopefully you can see that i can barely see and i'm here see that right there like you can barely see it. That's definitely like a brow bone, like highlighter color, I would say. Or like, you know, the little tear duct corner of your eye. This one I use all the time on my brow bone. It's a good everyday color for your brow bone. And again, this one was called Chic It Out. I'm gonna put it right below. This one you can really see it has good payout. I don't even think I need to bring that one closer to you guys. I think you can really see that one. It's like a peachy color. Okay. So the next two, we're just going to go across. So this one and this one, those are called Woe is Me. Like, whoa, woe is me. I'm reading the paper and getting ready. Okay. Woe is Me I have used before. So let's get a little swatch of that one. 
It's very coppery. Um, I'm going to switch to my right hand. Maybe a little more here. That's pretty. It's shiny. It's buildable, as they say in the industry. You can put more on and you can see really how it gets darker. It's really pretty, it, but it definitely looks like a, a copper penny, like literally. It's really pretty. Okay, let me flip my little cotton swab. And we're going to do this one. Again, that one that we just did was Woe Is Me, and this one's called Getting Ready. This is a very good like base color. I haven't used it. I would describe it as a dusty rose. It is not metallic. It is not shiny. It is very, very matte. Isn't that pretty? That's really good, right? I haven't used that one. I think the reason why I haven't used this one is because it has a lot of purple in it. And the dark circles under my eyes are already purple. <laughs> so sometimes I look at that color and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. But my under eyes already look like that. <laughs> So I haven't used it yet. Okay, we'll go with these two colors next, which are two colors I have used. This like taupe color here is called Be My Guest. And this pink is called Love It. If I remember correctly, they both are like slightly metallic, but not too heavy. We'll try this taupe one first. That's pretty. Put a little more. It's really pretty. It's a really easy color to wear. I'm gonna pull this up for you guys. This is a really easy color to wear. It's like taupe with like gold accent. It's really close to like a, almost like a honey color. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's really pretty. And just let me see if I can hold up the paper towel for you. It's just barely shiny. You can kind of see it. It's a tiny bit of a metallic finish. So we're going to drag that up and then we're going to do the pink. If you remember, it's called Love It. And this one is pretty matte. I think it has a tiny bit of shine to it, but I don't remember. Whoa, super pink. You can tell the difference between like this one and this one. Once you put a real pink down, now all of a sudden this one here looks extremely purple, which is what I was ta telling you about. That's why I've worn this one before, but I've never worn that one because this one's like making the bags into my eyes look worse. And this one is just brighter. Now this one is kind of in the middle of those two that I was pointing at. I don't know why I've never worn it, but I don't think I have. And this last one of the first row is called Feeling Pretty. And it is very pretty. See there? It literally, if this color here and this color here were mixed together, it is this color. This is a great everyday palette for anyone. You really cannot go wrong with this palette. It has the best mix of like neutrals. I would say all of these are pretty neutral. Isn't that pretty? Okay, we're gonna go down. I'm gonna scoot this up and we're going to move to our next row, which I'm gonna switch sides maybe. Mm. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Let's go over here back again. We'll just scoot over, how about that? There we go. All right, get straight. All right, okay, so we're on row two. The first color of row two is called Cute Shoes. That is such a cute name, and I've never used this color. Right here, it's called Cute Shoes. We're gonna just put it right here on the bottom. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna buff it out a little bit. That's really pretty. Okay, that's really nice. It almost has like a, it's almost like this color with a little more like warm, almost like a brown red undertone. Really pretty, really pretty. And you could tell that 
this color is getting me ready to transition into colors that contain more red. So as we go down the row, row two, or across, row two, yeah, this one and this one, which are called Enamored is the first one, and Call Me Gorge. Um, I think I've tried both of these. Here's Enamored, highly shiny, lots of pigment, lots of fallout, very metallic. Very buildable. I like to use colors like this um, as an eyeliner because I do have a hooded eye. I don't go too crazy with eyeshadow. I might wear two or three colors total, and that includes like one for a brow bone highlight, then two on my eye, and that's it. I don't go crazy because as soon as I open my eye, I can't see it. But there's this one. Again, this one is called Call Me Gorge, and she is gorge. Like a metallic brick color, I would say. But you can see right here, that's fallout from that one. It's very messy. The next one, I remember, is extremely bright. Oh no, sorry. This one's called Enamored. I said the wrong thing. This one's called Call Me Gorge. I think I said it wrong. This one is really bright. I've tried it before. It, sh it shocked me. I put too much on. Ooh, look at that. See what I'm saying? I just went around and around like three times, I think, with the Q-tip. And look how bright it is. And when you try to like buff it out, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's very... I don't know what the formula is for, for these matte finishes, but the matte finishes go on and stay on a little bit goes a long way like i am buffing and it is barely getting lighter do you see that crazy 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 okay a fresh q-tip and we're gonna move this paper towel up and we're gonna move on to this very bright metallic pink fourth one from the left this one's called melt hearts melt hearts you can see it kind of like gather up i have used this one before she is messy and she does not have good payout do you see that difference do you see the difference i'm having to pack this q-tip the metallics in this palette are not great i mean look how bright it is in here and look how much it's not looking here that's why i use these metallics as like eyeliners and that's it i hear a very large airplane i apologize i live near an air force base but i didn't think about it okay the next one is called total mood this is a matte one as well it's like a very it's like a maroonish brown kind of Whoa. See? See the matte ones are freaking nuts. Look how like big the color is. So bold. It's a darker shade and it's still so bold. You can go down all of these swatches and immediately be able to tell which one is metallic and which one's not. Okay, I'm going to switch sides with my paper towel there we go hopefully the colors on this side aren't distracting let me fold it actually i'm gonna fold it over for you guys because i don't want you to be distracted all right that's better you can still kind of see it but it's better all right i'm gonna scoot it down so i can actually reach and we left off on these final two of this row those are called On My Way and Weekend Plans. I have used this first one, On My Way. You can kind of see that I have. We'll put it up here. It's pretty. I mean, you can kind of see it, right? I'm gonna put more. I'm gonna try to like give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to hold it up close so you guys can see. 
It has a shine to it. It has a lot of fallout. It's, I mean, my camera doesn't want to pick it up. It's okay. It's not great. It's not great. All right. And then the next one is Weekend Plans, I think I said. This one is matte. Very taupe. I'm very interested to see this color. I haven't tried it. Dang, it's like really beige taupe. Ooh, look at that. Look at the difference. This is a pretty color. This is a very pretty color. Like if you put this on and then just put this on, maybe a little bit damp as like an eyeliner. That would be really pretty. Easy beezy. Okay. I don't know what I just said. Easy breezy. I think that's what I meant to say. Okay, we're going to the third row, starting on the left. With this one that I've used many times. That one is called Ooh La La. Let me grab a Q-tip. And we're going in. Ooh la la. Whoa, 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 whoa. Instant crumbling. Just, I have to like press it in because it's just crumbling into a million pieces. It's a pretty color on. Just have to be careful not to make a mess a little bit. It does go a long way. It's metallic, it's shiny, it kind of reminds me of this color, but like a little more brown. I've used it before. It's nice. It's nice. It has a lot of fallout, but it's nice. The next one is called Selfie Sesh. It's a little more brown. Um, I don't think I've used this one, actually. It's like brownish purple. It's like if this one was a metallic right there. It's pretty. I could picture like mixing these together for like a nighttime eye. You know, like a brown smoky eye instead of a black smoky eye or a charcoal smoky eye. It's pretty. It's a pretty color. Maybe I have used it before. I don't remember, honestly. Okay, the next one is very purple. It's called Fancy This. And I have used it before. I need a clean Q tip. Okay, we have Fancy This. It's very purple, very like lavender. And here we go. I'm gonna get a little bit more. This one doesn't fall out as much as that one did, but it still has some fallout. It's pretty, it's purple. I like it. Can you see it? It has a little bit of like a shine to it. It's nice. All three of those colors together would actually probably make a really pretty fall eye if I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Maybe I could try it. Okay, this super metallic one in the middle is of course called Talk of the Town. I think I swatched this for you guys when I was showing you these eyeshadows. Um, but this one's just like straight glitter. Watch. Obviously, I've never used it. As you can see, it's not even sticking it's just pure glitter see how it's not even sticking let me show you it's pure glitter do you see that this I like I New Year's Eve or Halloween it's the only two times I could think of where I would use it now it's probably all over me it's okay though so it's really pretty hard to work with doesn't come off wherever you stick it Hope you love it because it's going to be there for the rest of the day. The next one's called Playtime. I think I have used this one once. Maybe. But this one's also purple, but it's a matte. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to scoot up. Hold on. That's really pretty, right? I think I did use this one once one day just for fun when I wasn't going anywhere. It's one of those colors, like for me, I wear this as an eyeshadow with almost no blush, lots of mascara, and like a clear lip gloss, and that's it. So it's like, oh, what makeup is on my face? Just this eyeshadow. Check it out. <laughs> you know, that kind of a, that kind of a look. That's my opinion. I try not to go too heavy with everything. Like, I wouldn't wear this with like a red lipstick, personally. Okay, this one is Hello There. Pretty... 
very pretty. It's like a purplish, pinkish, dusty rose metallic. Isn't it pretty? I like this one more than like this one. This one's like such an easy color to wear. You like can't mess it up. It gets darker, pretty buildable. And this one has a lot less fallout. Some of them do and some of them don't. Okay, I'm gonna reach across for my Q-tip. Where are we at? We're on this one. I think this one looks a lot more red on camera um, than it is in real life. This one's called OU, and to me, in person, it looks like it's just brown. But for you guys, for some reason, it's coming up reddish brown. It's a matte. It's dark. I've never worn it. It is the kind of color that I would wear as like a brown eyeliner, like for a cute fall look, or a brown smoky eye. I pull up like this. So, it's pretty, it's dark, it's just like the color of like a chocolate bar really, I mean, you know, maybe a hint of red, but it's, it's fine, it's not my favorite. Okay, we're gonna go down to the fourth row, again starting from the left. To me, this looks a lot more gray in real life than it does on camera. This color is called Looking Good. I'm sure I've used it like maybe once. It is a metallic, but not a super metallic. It's kind of like right in the middle. It's pretty. It kind of looks pretty good with the color right above it. Those two colors together would make it a pretty eye look actually. Pretty. Like like the shiny version of the one above it. I like that one a lot, actually. And I like that it doesn't have a lot of fallout. Okay, I think we have room on this side of the paper towel for maybe like two more. So we'll do this one and then this one. And those are called It's a Date, is this one. Very dark, a lot darker than that. Almost black. Wow. It's a matte finish, but it has a lot of fallout. It doesn't feel as creamy as any of the other mattes. But I've heard makeup artists on YouTube so often say, or like makeup creators, that making a good, good dark colors are, is like more difficult. I don't know why, but that's just what I've heard. Okay, this color I love. I've worn it before. It's really pretty. This one's called um, Ready to Mingle. It's like a purplish, like magenta almost. It's slightly metallic, but not as metallic as some of the others. I hear an airplane again. Sounds like it's circling back to visit us. And this one's really pretty, huh? Yeah, I love this one. And I feel like wearing a dark eye, but I, but I like to stay in like the r rose, um, pink kind of family. I go with this. It's really pretty on. Really pretty. Dramatic, but like not black or brown. Okay. Um, let me see if I can fold this paper towel a different way for us. So I don't show anything. I also don't want to get makeup anywhere, so. Okay. We have one more row. I'm sorry, you can kind of see it right there, but... I'm trying to give us the cleanest possible space. So we'll start right up here on top again with a clean Q-tip. We're moving on to some colors I really have never used. These are very dark. This is actually like a metallic green that goes with the green below it. And then this actually is like a match for that one. Like these are literally matches for each other. Um, they're meant to coordinate for sure. Okay, so this one is called RSVP Yes. Never worn it. Again, this would probably be a Halloween color for me and like nothing else. I just don't know where I'm going in my everyday life that I would wear this, but good grief is it dark. 
Holy moly, it can't even tell that it's green. Oh yeah, you can. Oh wait, look at that. Do you see it shining like a peacock feather? You guys, it's like brown and green. Okay, this color just got cooler. I never noticed that. It's like brownish, greenish. Brownish, greenish. It's both. Okay, sorry. I didn't know it did that because I've never swatched these colors. Holy moly, that's so neat. It's like a two for one. Okay, this one is called Heads Turn. Another one I've never used. Heads Turn. I just made a mess. Okay. It's pretty dark as well. I'll hold this one up and see if it does anything. I don't know if it's going to shine different colors like the green one did. Um, kind of, right? It's almost like a yellowish gold. And then it gets darker and redder. Like, look at the outside edges of the circle. It's like lighter, darker. Well, these are very fun. Okay, love that for us. That was fun. I don't, again, I still don't know where I wear the colors, but I like this green one. It's fascinating. Okay, Side of Sass is next. Side of Sass. Pretty sure I've used this one before. And it's just like a metallic taupe. Very easy color to wear. This is one of those colors. That's what I love about this palette. It has so many colors where you're like, I don't know what to do with my makeup today. I just need to slap on an eyeshadow and keep it moving. This is one of those colors. Side of Sass. Definitely one of those colors. The last one of this fourth row is called Have a Moment. It's silver. It's very Christmas. Very 4th of, or 4th of July. Oh yeah, sure. 4th of July. Very New Year's. Very messy. Um, I'm not going to lie. I would probably never wear this color. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe to a New Year's party. There you go. It's pretty. That silver is quite pretty. It's prettier than it looks in the thing. Okay. Well, those are all prettier than I thought. Okay, you guys, we're on to our final row. Starting from the left, we have a thanks, it's new. <laughs> I can't even say that without trying to say only Paris Hilton. Thanks, it's new. I feel like everyone thinks that's how people from California talk. We don't, but that's pretty. Again, kind of dark, kind of similar to other colors, but it's pretty. All right, we're coming up on another mat, and it's called My Pleasure. My Pleasure. I have never worn this one because, again, it's pretty dang dark. Woo, see? Dark. Those two definitely are meant to go together. They're the exact same color, just like metallic and matte. Very dark. Maybe I just need more courage to wear the darker colors. All right. The next one, the third one, is called Text Me Later. And you can tell by the way it's coming off. Like all of the glitter is coming off because I've never worn it. This looks like black with a tiny bit of shine to it. It's like, it's not metallic or matte. Look at that, it's in the middle. See how it has itty bitty bits of glitter? Tiniest bits of glitter, that's actually fun. I don't think I've ever had a, a black eyeshadow like that. We'll go to the matte green, which is called Just Perfect. Just Perfect. Woo! It's like hunter green, forest green. Can't even tell it's green on camera, but I promise it's green. Let me shake it off a little bit. It's green, it's just dark. Dark, dark green. So we're gonna go to our last three. These are called 
enthralled which is another matte I think it's meant to go with this one up here because it's dark as heck wow yeah you can tell it's totally meant to go with this one and then we have these two next to each other I have never tried I'm curious one's called heels on and one's called fashionably late they both kind of look black so this is heels on crumbly and I'm gonna grab another uh, q-tip for the last one called fashionably late and then I'm gonna hold it up so we can see if we see the difference between these two this one looks jet black okay it looks like soft black and jet black like for example I have mascara and the brand, I have mascara, everyone does. <laughs> Anyways, the mascara brand I use, is what I meant to say, they have two versions of their mascara. One's called Berry Black and one's called Blackest Black. And they are not the same color, but they're very close. Okay, I'm going to hold this up for you guys. Can you tell the difference? I mean, barely, right? They're pretty similar. Pretty similar. I'm going to put on... I'm just so curious. I'm going to put on a little more of this one. Like to build it the same way I did with the other one. I'm just, sorry you guys can't see me. I'm just building it right here. Okay, I'm going to try to show you again. Okay, there is a difference. See, like, it's like this one is black and this one's blackest black. This one has the tiniest bit of like a... A brown undertone to it and this one is just straight black and then this one up here is black almost like charcoal gray with glitter in it so they are all different but just barely anyways you guys at least now I know right thank you for taking the time to watch me literally dig into this palette again if you're interested and you like the colors that you saw this is the Morphe 35C Everyday Chic Palette, and my friend got it for me at Ulta. That's it, you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you saw, and I will see you next time. Bye!